testing. Hi, welcome to the video. All right, here's the question we're looking at today. They did an October 2003 population survey, and the following table summarizes probabilities for randomly selecting a full-time student in various age groups. So if you randomly select a full-time student from the population, if we want to think about these in percents, we could say about 21.7% were 35 or older, 46.1% were between 25 and 34, 25.7% were between 18 and 24, and about 6.5% were between 15 and 17. And here's the question they're asking. They want to know if they randomly select a full-time student, so that's the people in this table, what's the probability that the person they select is not 18 to 24 years old? So again, we're seeing that keyword not, which lets us know we can use the complement rule. So let's write this up here. We can say the probability that the person is not 18 to 24 is equal to 1 minus the probability that the person is 18 to 24. So there's that complement rule. Whenever you have the word not, you can actually find the probability that it does happen and subtract from 1. So if we want to do that, we could write it out so it's going to turn into equals 1 minus. And what's the probability the person is 18 to 24? We look over here at our table. The probability someone is 8 to 24 is 0.257. So we go ahead and do 1 minus 0.257, and we're getting 0.743. So we would say it's equal to 0.743. So that would be my final answer, but notice they're asking for it as a percentage. So I don't want to report it as a decimal. To convert a decimal to a percent, I would multiply by 100, and that uh, decimal number I would then get would be 74.3. So we would write 74.3 as a percent.